Hello ghouls and guys, it's Ellie from Crippled Fox Gaming. It's not John today, I decided I would throw my hat in the ring and see what we have. He is, he gave me this new game called Doom Pilgrim. It's a print and play game um, where you just print up your own cards like this. And so that's what John did, laminated them, they're beautiful. Um, this is kind of a different game, it's a little bit more of a, I guess we call choose your own adventure. Um, and like I said, I'm have very little knowledge of this game. I didn't even really watch John's playthrough because I wanted to do this kind of cold. So we're gonna get started and see what thrills and chills there is in store for us. I'll see you on the game side. Hello ghouls. Welcome back, it's game time. Um, so again, we're playing Doom Pilgrim. Doom Pilgrim. Make sure I got the name right because <laughs> I'm old. Um, it's by a company called Warclaw Games. Um, and the designer, also there's their name, also did all of the artwork. And from what I can tell, he is an amazing artist. So check him out. We'll have the links down below. Um, so check that out. So we're gonna get started. Um, I'm going to have John, normally there's a sheet. I'm gonna show it to you. Um, get my hands off camera here for a second. Um, this is your sheet where you're gonna track everything. Um, so you get your equipment, any of your companions, things like then your losses. So this will tell you like diseases, curses, psychic drops, all, all of the things that it might come up in the game. Um, and this is gonna help you track when you die, basically, <laughs> and what you have. Um, so like if you get three diseases, you, you are doomed, so you're, you lose the game. Um, if you have any paired limbs, so that means if you have any uh, two arms, two legs, two whatever, you lose. Um, three curses in total, you lose. Um, and then three uh, doom psychic drops, any three of the same type. And then you'll get things like depression, things like that. So, like I said, this is my first time running through the game. Be kind to me. Good and luck. good luck, pilgrims. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to start. So, basically, the way I was told to do this game is we're going to take three cards and set them out and then you're going to choose one to get rid of one for your future and then one that you're going to read now um, the future will kind of get to you there's a corgi here sorry about that we have two of them so um, so basically out of these three cards you that's how you settle up each each round um, so I'm gonna say that I don't like the way this one looks so we're gonna put that one off I'm going to save this one for my future, and I'm going to go ahead and read this one. And this one says, Old Lighthouse. This flimsy stone tower used to be a lighthouse, he says. It was in old times before the sea vanished in the pits below the cliff, he says. Now there is no sea, only misfits, m mist, <laughs> as far as you can see, he says, and you can see. But who is he? His name is not important, but his craft, oh goodness, the most ingenious mechanic uses the old lighthouse as his hermitage and workshop. It seems he wants to get rid of you as fast as possible since he found you know nothing about mechanics and geometry so he is going to sell you his works very cheap for just three gold pieces which we don't have or one magic weapon which we don't have or any animal that he could butcher and eat please don't he will make a mechanical spare limb for you a leg a hand uh, or both if you can pay this function almost this they function almost the same as the old ones deleting your loss unbelievable but it's also ungodly so you also achieved a blasphemer badge if you use such a man-made limb. We don't have any of those, so and we haven't <laughs> lost anything. Um, and there's some more stuff down here, but it's it's only necessary if you're going to use those. So that's where we're at. So then that's that. Yeah. We're done with that. All right. Well, that stays in your past. Oh, this stays in my past. Okay. So you flip uh, that over. Oh, stays like that. Okay. Yep. So there, we got it. We got it going. We're we're doing good, guys. Okay. So we're gonna do another three. And um, I think I'm going to put this one in my future. I'm going to put this one away and I'm going to read this one. Knighted under the dead tree, you've become Sir, now only to find your lady and manor. A horse might be useful too. At least it would take you faster away from this place where self proclaimed, ki proclaimed kings make their knights of vagrant strangers. This place is ill, so hurry on before you become something worse than Sir. Um, I get one Sir of the Dead Tree and one Mind Disruption. Oh, nice. Okay. So, John's John's going to be my scribe. So, like, normally you do this, but I have he's going to do it for me. So, that's what we've got. Sir of the Dead Tree and one Mind Disruption. Or Mind Disruption plus one. Oh, okay. I'll read it as you go. Okay. So, then we're on and upward. We're going to go. As you can tell, I think the artwork is 
insanely good. In fact, there's a few of these pictures I would put up in my house had I, you know, gotten... He has them in the sale. Oh, and I just was informed, this just in, this just in, that he has them for sale. And his name is... Wakla Trayer? Wakla Trayer. I believe. Um, links, links. To yeah, we're gonna put the links in. Um, he seems like a really cool guy, but his artwork, oh, Chef's Kiss, it's it's amazing. But if you like this, I mean, I like the doomy kind of stuff, so it tracks with me. Okay, I am going to, you know, this guy looks a little dangerous, so we're gonna put him away. I like this little batty bat, so we're gonna put this guy up in here. Giant bat on a hunt, just like me. No, um, if you have the crown of Count Dragula. Dragula, drag, yeah, dra Dragula. Okay, the the beast, master's ring, or the foreskin of Saint Francis. You can take control over the mind of this primitive creature. See below behind the flying beast icons. But I don't have any of this stuff, so, um, so I really there's really nothing to read then because it just says if you have I there have might to, be if you uh, don't okay. have this stuff you keep um, going. if you have companion animals or men if you do not have a hero or good heart badge. You can sacrifice one and flee while the bat feeds on him or her, but the others, if there are some, will leave you then, seeing your perfidiousness. Otherwise, you are snatched and consumed. Ooh. What? Oh, as, crap. As the, as the giant bat writer, you're almost invisible to that. Oh, I don't have anything, so I can't. Am I dead? Did you die already? I don't have any companion animals. Yeah. I do not have a hero or a good heart badge. You can sacrifice one of these while he feeds on him or her, but the others, if there are some, will leave you then, seeing your perfidiousness. Otherwise, you are snatched and consumed. Yeah. Well, quickest game ever. Well. <laughs> okay. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. you watch us. <laughs> I... Did not make. The, I will read the rest of this though. If you do get the bat, it just says, "As the giant bat rider, you're almost invincible to in outdoor flights, outdoors only. Each time you, uh, each time, choose the best flight solution a, a card suggests, and ignore half of all the physical harm rounded up. After applying the uh, other reliefs, do similar similarly with events where your flying equals or surpasses the benefits of riding a horse. Use your reason." You also travel much faster, so draw three more cards each turn, then three more go to the bottom. Oh, so you get plus three cards. But there is a constant danger of falling. Once you make any mistake, writing your typo, wrong column record, drawing more cards, you will fall and die. You're also considered evil. Oh. Act as if you have got an outlaw ba killer badge or as if you have a member of an evil cult. Plus hero good heart badges. You use are out of effect. Add brackets to them. Wow. Well... Well, you know what? Thank you, Doom demo, Pilgrim. There's your demo game. Now you can do I, the real game. <laughs> I, I don't know. Should we? Should we go a little bit? I'm dead. You, I went two rounds. But you get the idea. <laughs> um. So here's a new set of six cards. That okay. I added and shuffled them. So that's John says he wants me to, to go to go on. So we're we're gonna go on. Um. You can cheer you know, or... This is the problem. Oh, is that this it? This is the strange community that's okay. hanging out. Um, that's, that's, you can that's either cheer or jeer. You can wish me off the stage, but you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep going. Well, that's that's what happened to me in mine. It was like 11 minutes in and I could have... I just walked off. It's like, hey, the game's over. Yeah, oh, I, I had two rounds, but... So we're going we're gonna to try this Unfair. again. Unfair. Unfair. War Claw Games. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try this again. Do not pick the giant bat. Yes. Um... That's what I get for being creepy. Um, okay, so we're gonna start. We, 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 oh, look, we've, we've arisen. We are, we have, oh, okay. Wow, this is becoming a train wreck really fast. Okay, um, you know. That's what this game is. I'm going to put this one in my, no. And I'm gonna put this one in my future. And I'm gonna take a little creepy bugs one. Why? Because I do that. Huge spiders. Oh. Uh, did I just kill myself? No, 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 I'm, 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 a pack. I, was, I was gonna try to do like I'm gonna call an audible. Say don't take that one. Well, well, you know I've never been smart. But um, this is fun. A pack of awfully large spiders descended from a near 
tree, nearby tree. They have just spotted their prey, and unfortunately, it is you. If you have a mule, it gets scared and runs away. A horse withholds if it is used to you, your soothing voice enough, i.e. if you got this through at least five minutes of, with your count the cards in your past deck over the cards you got from the horse now. If you're if you're a werehawk having this curse, the spiders are super nice, refreshing you, the spiders are nice super nice, sorry, refreshing brunch for you. Fatigue and depression or nihilism healed by one. Oh, okay. If you have at least if you at least have werewolf werehawk beak, you can repel them with it. If you have some leg armor, you fight them successfully with no harm. Otherwise their fights during the fight Bring wound and poison status to you. Each seventh turn generates another wound. Right. So you are healed, right. dead, or you win. Killing them, not just repelling them, brings one monster trophy, spider legs. So I have a uh, poison, so I gotta keep track okay. of my rounds here. Uh, right, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, poison. Every seventh card you take yeah. another Yeah, okay. okay, so this is one. So you'll have one wound. Two. That's, that's great, that's great. Yeah, it's... Okay, maybe I need to get smart here, not choose the scariest card I see. What do you think, folks? Okay. Um, you know, that was a kind of scary card. Move that way. Uh, uh, I'm going to put this in my future, and I'm going to read this one. It's probably like you're dead. No. Into the quiet castle. Rich loot awaits you in this castle. You know it, but what seems quite quiet may hide lurking evil. This you know, too. Sum up your points of effectivity for this event. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> any wear or vampire curse, perfect shield or small shield or kite shield, S rooms are small to use it effectively, cursed axe, another magic we weapon, Hem helm, leg plates, cod piece, none of that. Mad jester's cap, uh, I have none of this. Um, bracers, all that, your all that stuff is 10 or more cards in your past deck, I do not have. Experience counts in places, non zero fear. Or dismay, caution helps to or an ally. Uh, how far and what booty you got, uh, which is this Poe result, three or less. A fall, trap, victim, slowly dying in a dungeon, three or six. Died as well, but nicely ablated. Oh, how many points? Did you, did you, have, you didn't have any of that stuff. No. So what's it say? Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I had none of it. So, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So basically, if you ha you go through and any of this stuff you have, you add points to it. How far and what booty you got? Three or less. Uh, fall trap victim trap fall trap victim slowly dying in a dungeon. Oh, for God's! <laughs> wow, War Claw Games. There's there's so many ways to die. In this game. Okay. Well, you know this has been. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of fun, actually. Um, I, I don't know if it's that self-loathing and nihilism that I kind of like this because Wait. it's like, well, had um, I... And I did not... I want you to see, I did not pick the scariest card this time. I thought I would be, that's... you know... Um, I got huge spiders and I survived huge spiders. Um, honestly, this is kind of fun as a single-player game. And one of the reasons I loved... Love, love, love those choose your own adventure games. In yeah, school. like I, like they were my absolute favorite. Nice. And so I think this is kind of like a choose your own adventure, like sinister version. Yeah. Um. So I think this is really super fun, and I think it. I mean, it's funny. One of those things you can just do when you you just want something to like mess around with. So, um, super fun. I wish I'd gotten further, but I died twice. So I think third time is not a charm. Third time a charm, maybe. I I think that we are we we've, we've done we done killed ourselves. <laughs> um, I I think I I think Doom Pilgrim is saying, you know what, you 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 did it you did tried you tried. You did. So you did. You did. Um, plus I think if I go for a third time, this video is gonna get really long and no one's gonna watch well, it. So. No, it's only. It's been thirteen minutes. Oh, 13 minutes. <gasps> dun dun dun. <laughs> Or, do we want to go a third time? It's up to you. Let's try we one We can go more. through and kind of show off some of the artwork. Oh, yeah, we can do we that. We can do that, yeah. You know what? Here. And then just hold it up to right. Yeah, we're... Let's see. Um, this, this, like I said, the guy has this stuff on... He has some... You can buy original prints of this. Oh, that's cool. And they're only like... They're like a hundo. And it's like you get free shipping and it's... Oh, wow. Ink, watercolor, 
And just, I, I think yeah, this, this is so good. This is really beautiful. There are, um, are, there are a couple cards. And <clears throat> as you play this, you're going to find that it's it's going to be... The, the reason that you, you can play... Uh, um, you can play it so quickly, but you also might remember things like, oh wait, this, I remember this, I have a weird, vague memory of this in the past. This was really good, or this was really bad. Like the next time you play and so, you see that back card, you go, ah, going in a your, your future, if you win the game, you then, oh, it's when you run out of cards. You keep, we run out of cards. So you'll play through, you put your future up here, and then once this deck's done, because I was able to get through, and then I started into my future... <laughs> And like the first one, it's like, oh, it's the, oh, I didn't know this is okay. Pick one, pick one, toss one, future one until you're down to just, here's my last card. And I. But it is called Doom Pilgrim, so it's not called Doom <laughs> yeah, Happy I'm Sunshine, happy. Great Day, you know. Uh, happy Landscape. Yeah, like Great, uh, Great Day um, Pilgrim. So. We had this um, all set up and all. <laughs> It took us longer to set up than it did to it play. It did. It did. But again, it's and it's a print and play. Can you buy the game? Yes, that's okay. that's the other thing. Is it? It's on uh, Game Found that you've got. I'll we'll post the things and it's. You've got. There's a new batch of cards that are coming out that is are, thirty seven percent off and stuff like that. We'll put more. We'll put all the links in the thing. Yeah. But yeah, it's. And I dig it. I want to tell you, it's we're not we're, we're, we're not sponsored by this. Like this, one of the things that we like to do is these independent games and these kind of fun, innovative takes on things. As much as we love games like uh, you know um, our Dice Throne and those kind of things that are a little bit more established, we love those games. But there's also games like out like this that may you know may or may not get a whole lot of of press. So. And these little companies are what keeps the gaming industry fresh and yeah. new. And um, you know, again, we have we have some bigger name games, and we love those. We love like yeah. the There's the unmatched. yeah There's... unmatched and like and the the games like the ones from um, uh, the Exploding Kittens that they do oh, all yeah. those games yeah. and those kind of things. They're all great games, and we love those companies too. But then there's some that are this that are just really like a startup kind of thing. And I think this is really fun because it is really storytelling yeah. and yeah. so I'm sorry if I fumbled over any of my words I had been these are the first time I'd read these cards so I was I, I didn't have any of them memorized or anything so well, it's, that, it's, there's 90 of them so yeah there's, mean, if you've got, and that's the thing wait, is there are one. so many that you I mean the stack the deck is very thick so again you're never going to have the same experience twice and mm -hmm. I think this would be a fun game if you're just kind of sitting at home alone or sitting with somebody just to Help you keep track of it and just, you know, telling them the story. They also have soundtracks available on Bandcamp. Oh, fine. Yeah, so it, can... It's just this this ambient, spooky, doom music that he does, his, and then the one that's for Doom Deeper is, I forget, like I said, it'll yeah. be all links in the... So, the well, thanks for coming on this very, very short adventure. <laughs> But I appreciate you all, and again, thank you to War Claw Games and Doom Pilgrim, and we'll do some more reviews later. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.